Hey Blender Maniacs, this is Alex Corbart for BlenderMania3D.com and this tutorial is going to be really really cool and really fun. We're going to take a look at how to make an animation of something like this where there's growing vines and then leaves coming out of the vines. Now you can use this technique for many different things as you can use it for this or for example if there's tentacles with then spikes coming out of the tentacles or maybe a DNA strand going through the body and then there's some viruses that are going off of the DNA strand or something like this. But in general, I'm going to teach you how to make something curve out like this and have something then grow out of it. So here we're going to do the vines with the leaves growing out. So let's get right to it. Again, you can see here what we have in solid mode. I'm going to create a new file, file new, and let's get to it. We're going to delete the default cube. And we're going to kick it off right away by making the vine in Blender. To do that, we're going to hit Shift A, add in a cylinder. All right, now that we have the cylinder, we're just going to create an object where we want this to emit from. Now, in the other one, I created an archway, but here we're just going to add a sphere. Shift A, add mesh, UV sphere. And let's move the UV sphere out here. With the UV sphere, we're then going to go to the particle settings, add a new particle system, and click on hair. Now again, if you want to make the archway, you could just model that and add the particle settings to the archway or whatever object you want. We're going to select advanced so that we have some other options later on to play with. And then over here under render, we're going to select render as, and we're going to change this to object, and render it as the cylinder that we just created. So now we have this right here, which is looking marvelous. Not really. So what we need to do, and these next steps, make sure that you are in edit mode, otherwise it will not do the same result. Selecting the cylinder, tab to go into edit mode, R, X, 90, and rotate 90 degrees, and then just hit S key to scale it down and you can see what we start to have on our sphere. Sweet, we have a bunch of little nubbies. All right, to make them not nubbies, let's hit S, Y, and scale this up on the Y axis. And now we got noodles coming out of our sphere. All right, brilliant. The next thing we want to do is hit 7 to go into top view. And we want to make sure that these bottom vertices right here are at the origin point because later on when we scale this to animate it along the curve, we want to make sure that these vertices are on the origin. Otherwise, it does not scale properly. We're going to hit G, Y, and like I said, bring those vertices to that point right there. All right, cool. Now, what we want to do is give these a little bit more of an attitude because right now it just looks like spaghetti sticking out of the sphere. With our cursor still here where our origin point is for our cylinder, let's hit Shift A, add in a curve, Bezier curve. And we're going to hit R, negative 90 to rotate it negative 90 so that the curve is going that way. All right, cool. Next, we're going to select our cylinder, go to the Modifiers tab, add modifier, curve, and select the Bezier curve. Brilliant. Now it's not doing too much because if we hit tab to go into edit mode, you can see that we don't have that many vertices here to play with. What we need to do is hit control R and then hit 20 on the keyboard to uh, put to increase the amount of cuts to 20, left click and then right click. And now if we hit tab to go into object mode, boom, check it out. We have our, our vine growing. Brilliant. I'm now going to select the busier curve here from the outliner because it's a little bit hard to see. And then hit tab to go into edit mode. Now you can see we have handles here. I'm going to select the second handle, at the second top handle, and hit E to extrude it and just bring it out one more. And this is where you kind of want to shape out how you want your, uh, your vine or tentacle or whatever you're making to look. So I'm going to make it kind of like this shape right here. And now we want to make it taper from very thin to fatter at the bottom here. To do that, select the top segment here and hit Alt-S, which basically thickens or minimizes 
a segment. So here we're going to hit Alt S and let's bring it down a little bit so it has a little bit more influence. Also going to scale that one like that. There we go. All right, cool. I'm going to select this one, Alt S, just a little bit. And then this bottom right here, I'm going to hit Alt S and go the opposite way and fatten it. Sweet. Then I'm going to select this, right click, shade smooth. All right, let's see what we got in our sphere. Whoa, we got this. All right, it looks pretty cool. All right, now to animate this, how do we do that? Quite simple. We're going to animate this along the curve, basically. So with this selected, if we hit the S key, you could see that it scales like that. But if we hit S and Y, you could see that will scale just along the Y axis and look as if it's growing if we play it in reverse. How cool is that? All right. In order to do this, what you would think you would do is scale it to zero and then scale it up. However, if we do that, if we scale it to zero right now, it uh, it doesn't work after if you try to scale it up. So we're actually going to do it in reverse, and I'll kind of explain it as we do it. On frame one, we're just going to hit I and insert a scaling keyframe for it at this uh, scale right here. Then let's go to frame 30 and hit S, Y, and zero on your keyboard to scale it to zero on the Y axis and hit I scaling. So now if we play this, it goes backwards. All we have to do to invert this is select this ver uh, the, this keyframe right here on the timeline, grab it and bring it over here and then grab this one and bring it to frame 30 and put this one to frame one so that they're now inverted and if we hit play, check it out. Brilliant, I know, brilliant. And let's take a look at our sphere. Sweet, how cool is that, guys? Super awesome. Now, how do we make the leaves growing from this? Quite simple. All we have to do, let's pause this. We're gonna hit, uh, we're gonna hit tab to go into edit mode. And now, hit Alt A to deselect everything. We're gonna make some really simple leaves here. And you could spend more time adding more details to leaves if you want. Shift A, add a mesh plane, and bring it out over here. Then we're going to hit Control R, add a loop cut here, left click, right click, Control R, left click, right click. And then just bring this vertex out, GX, bring it out. Alt left click these vertices, S, Y, scale them up. And then Shift left click these vertices. E to extrude, X, S, Y, bring it down like that, Maybe bring it out a little bit, and then E to extrude, X, and bring it out. And there we have a very simple leaf. Cool. Now I'm going to hit Control L to select everything linked, S to scale it down, and what we want to do is we want to place the leaf not along the object right here, but along the curve, because when we hit tab to go into object mode, you will see that the leaf goes along the curve. However, we also have another issue, and that is that the leaf is being affected by the curve modifier. How do we fix that? You guessed it, vertex groups. Let's go to the data tab right here, create a new vertex group, and hit tab to go into edit mode. With the whole leaf selected, we're going to remove it, so click remove to remove it and then control I to invert the selection and click assign. So now this vertex group is assigned to the whole cylinder, but not the leaf. And if we hit tab to go into uh, object mode, you can see it's still affected because we need to go to the modifiers tab and select vertex group group and check it out. We have a leaf. And now if I hit tab to go into edit mode, select a vertex on the leaf and control L to select linked. We just place this and rotate it maybe a little bit. Again, place it along the curve because when you hit tab to go into object mode, you can see that this goes along the curve after that. Let's go into edit mode, shift D, copy this over, rotate it the other way, S to scale it up, scale it down a little bit maybe, and bring it 
in like so. All right, cool. And then I'm going to make one more. Shift D. I'm going to hit R, X, 90. And then R, Z, 90. So that the leaf is like that. However, it's facing the wrong way. So I'm going to rotate it this way. And just place that right here along whoop, the curve. So let me go into wireframe so I can see where the curve is. Again, we want to place this along the curve. And there we go. And I'm going to hit S to scale it down quite a bit. And bring it down. All right. And you could just tweak it a little bit however you want. That will do for the tutorial. Again, you could tweak it. And for the original uh, animation I showed you on the leaves, I added quite a bit more vertices and a, uh, a subsurface modifier by detaching them from this, adding a subsurface modifier, and then rejoining it with this mesh. But anyways, I'll let you do that on your own, adding more detail to leaves. Now, how do we animate these leaves going out? Quite simple. Now, you want to make sure that you are done with the leaves and that you have all the leaves or whatever you're adding added and then we're going to go to the data tab again and we're going to go to shape keys click the plus icon on shape key and the basis shape key here is going to be the basis or the original look of the mesh which is going to be like this we're then going to add another shape key and this one is going to be the one that changes the mesh right here we're going to put the value all the way to one and now if we hit tab to go into edit mode, this is where the magic happens. We're going to change this to the 3D cursor. And if we hit tab uh, 2 to go into edge select mode, what we want to do, I'm going to go into wireframe. We want to select the two edges, two edges right here of the leaf. So the two edges like that of the leaf. And then hit control or before you hit control, the two edges, hit shift S, cursor to select it so that the cursor is there. Then hit control L to select linked. And now you'll see if we scale this down, it scales down the leaf like that. So, and again, it's scaling along the cursor. If we hit S and then zero, theoretically it scales it to zero and basically disappears. How cool is that? So now we just gotta do that with the other leaves. Select the two edges. Shift S, cursor to selected. Control L to select the whole leaf. S, zero to scale it down to zero. And then do that with your other leaf right here. Select the two, whoa, not that, edges. Shift S, cursor to selected. Control L, S, zero, and boom. And now check it out. If we go to object mode, go back to solid view. Watch, if we, the value at one, the leaves are gone. Value at zero, the leaves appear. How cool is that? Very cool. So now all we have to do is animate this value. Let's go to like frame 26 when it's almost fully grown out. We're going to put the value one. We're going to hit I with the mouse hovered over it to insert a keyframe. And then however long you want the leaves to take to grow out. I'm going to go to frame 45. Bring it to zero and hit the I key to insert a keyframe like that. And check it out. If we play this, let me put the end frame to frame 60 or so. Shift left arrow and hit the space bar to play it. Check it out. Now these are very uniform, so I'm going to select the sphere, go to the particle tab, and I'm going to select rotation right here and increase the phase and the random phase to ra to rotate them randomly. And then lastly, I'm going to go to the scale ran scale randomness to make some shorter and some longer like that. Maybe not that extreme. You could also increase the scale right here and make it really big like that and make something really really crazy. 
But that's basically it. That is how you make a vine grow and then leaves grow out of it. Again, you can use this for many, many different things. How cool does that look? Actually, the sphere looks even cooler than the archway. Now quickly, how to texture this or add materials to it. Let's select the vine. Hit spacebar to stop the animation. And if we go and add a new material here, you can see we could add a new material. Make it greenish and a dark green. Let's go to the material tab. And now to add materials to leaves, if we hit tab to go into edit mode, you can see that we cannot see the leaves any longer. What you need to do is go to the vertex data tab and make sure that you're on the basis shape key right here so that you're able to see the leaves. And then just go ahead and select one of each of the edges of the leaves. Control L to select linked. Go to material tab, click the plus icon, new, click assign, and then make this whatever color you want. In this case, I'm gonna make them red. Why not? And there we go. All right, red's a little weird. I'm going to make them light green again. There we go. And that is how you do it. Again, I cannot wait to see what you make with this. Please expand on the tutorial. Make something different from the techniques that you learn here. Or make the same thing, whatever you want. Share it on BlenderMania3D.com on the forums. Cannot wait to see what you make. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Ciao for now. Au revoir.